good morning students and welcome back with one another problem of the orthographic projection today we have selected one complicated object in which we have to draw the front view along x direction the top view and the left hand side view using the first angle projection method so the first thing is we have to position the view with reference to x y line and x y y x1 y1 line so front view top view will be below the front view and the position of the left hand side view will be in the right hand side of the front view so again the first thing is we have to define the length the width and the height of the object for that we have to assume that the object is casted in the cuboid so we have to find out the length width and height of this cuboid so first of all length of the cuboid so the length of the cuboid is 140 mm it is over here or it is represented over here 140 mm so the length of the object will be 140 mm now width of the cuboid from this edge to this edge 20 plus 60 now see the 60 is up to the center of the circle so we have to add the radius of this arc so the width will be 20 60 plus 16 it is equal to 96 now height so height is 48 plus 36 now 36 is up to the center of the circles and from the center of the circles the radius of this outer circle is 38 so the height will be 48 plus 36 plus 38 it is equal to 122 so the length width and height of the object is length 140 with 96 and height 122 so first of all we have to draw the front view the left hand side view and the top view of the cuboid so the front view will be a rectangle having length 40 height 122 so length 40 140 sorry height 122 then after top view will be a rectangle having length 140 and width 96 length 140 projected from the front view and 96 width so this will be the top view of the cuboid and the left hand side view so the left hand side view of the cuboid is a rectangle having length 96 length 96 projected from the top view and height 122 projected from the front view now starting from the front view of the object and starting from the these circles we can observe the circles directly in the front view so first of all we have to define the center of the circles this object is symmetric about the y-axis the, the vertical center of the circle will be 70 mm from this center it will be the center of this rectangle it is at 70 mm and this distance is distance is 38 mm so the center of the circle will be over here 38 mm from this point to mark the center of the circle and draw the circle having radius 38 mm now the hole which has the radius is equal to 20 mm because the diameter of the circle is 40 mm so measure 20 mm radius on the rounder and uh, draw the view of the hole in the front view now uh, this arc is connected up to the center of the circle and this part so first of all this part on both sides the height of this part is 56 mm and this face is visible in the front view so starting from here 56 mm height 
on the bottom 56 mm height from the bottom on right side also okay and connect this edge or uh, this point and this point by using the arc having radius 28 mm so we have to connect these two points by using the arc having radius 28 mm so for that what we have to do we have to measure 28 mm on the rounder we have to give an arc from here we have to give an arc from here so the basic thing is we have to define the center of this arc so the center of this arc will be over here 28 mm from this point 28 mm from this point and after defining the center of the circle or arc draw the arc like this connecting this point and this edge also here center define center of the arc and connect the edge to the circle like this because this arc is up to the center of the circle so this is the basic outline of the object now comes on this part to draw this part first of all we will use or we will draw boxes over here so now we have drawn the boxes over here so we can understand the front view of the part easily so we can observe a rectangle in the front view of these two parts okay the width of this part is 80 mm 40 mm the gap between two parts and 18 mm so this part will be a or the view of the front view of this part will be a rectangle which is projected over here like this 32 mm from this edge 18 mm 40 18 32 so draw the rectangles showing this part in the front view starting from this point 32 mm 32 mm 18 mm then after 40 mm and 18 mm and the height of the rectangle will be 48 mm so the view of dead parts will be rectangle or will projected as a rectangle in the front view over here like this Now draw these four circles. Now here the instruction is given that the diameter of these all six circles 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6. 6 holes 5, 16. So the diameter of each circle is 16 mm. So the radius of the circle will be 8 mm. So the centers of the circles is given here 14 mm, 14 mm. The center between two circles or the distance between the centers of the two circles is 28 mm the 14 mm and 28 mm mark the centers and 16 mm from this edge mark the centers over here like this 14 mm 28 mm 16 mm now draw the circles having radius equal to 8 mm so now we have shown four holes over here 1 2 3 4 centers will be like this 14 mm 28 mm and 16 mm 16 mm 14 28 radius of the circle are 8 mm now we have to project this hole also we have to draw these holes also we are going to be hidden in the front view so we will project these holes after drawing the left hand side view of the holes because these holes are visible in the left hand side view 
so we will draw it first in the left hand side view then after we will draw it in the front view now top view so before drawing the top view we have to project all the parts the circle these parts and these holes from the front view in the top view then after we will draw the top view so first of all project all the parts one two three four the projection of these circles and these circles will overlap on these parts on the projection of these parts also because this distance is 18 mm this 40 and 18 same here 18 40 18 so projection of these circles and this part will be overlap okay so it will comes on the same line like this one two three four okay so take the projection then after draw the top view so now we have taken all the projections from the front view in the top view to understand the top view we have drawn the boxes over here also so we can easily observe or we can easily find out the view of these parts and the circle in the top view also so we can easily see that the view of this part and this part in the top view is also a rectangle is also a rectangle so start the drawing of this part also starting from this edge we have project all the parts this part first of all so width of this part is 20 20 mm the back side edge will be visible 20 mm this 20 mm the view of this arc over here up to this point then after the circle like this this edge over here this edge over here and back side part over here and the top view of this part also it will be a rectangle from this point to this point which we have projected from the front view so that parts these parts are also going to be visible as a rectangle in the top view so if you have take the projections from the front view it is easy for us to draw the top view also how the circle is going to be hidden in the top view so the projection of the circle and draw the hidden line because it is not visible in the top view project these circles also and draw the outlines as a hidden outlines one two one two the circles are also not visible in the top view now comes on these holes which are not going to be visible in the top view but uh, these holes are visible in the left hand side view so we will project the view of these holes in the top view by projecting projecting it from the 
left hand side view. Now in the front view we can see that uh, this edge is up to this part. The edge of this part is up to this part. So we have to draw that edge also in the front view over here. Now comes on the left hand side view. So for that first of all project all the parts of the object from front view and from top view in the left hand side view. So take all the projection of all the parts in the left hand side view and start the left hand side view. So now we can see that in the left hand side view first of all starting from this part we can observe this rectangle in the left hand side view having width 20 mm height 56 mm so height it projected from the front view width is projected from the top view so it will be a rectangle visible as a rectangle over here at this edge 20 mm 56 mm height and 20 mm now the part of this arc is visible as a vertical line over here are visible as a vertical line over here from these two this then after the part of this curvature will be a line over here 32 mm from this point to 32 mm which is projected from the top view this width is 32 mm now a vertical line from this point to this point 48 mm which is projected from the front view 48 mm over here and after this part so for this part first of all we have to draw these arcs so the center of this arc is 16 mm from this edge 16 mm from this edge and the radius of this arc is 16 mm and the uh, radius of this hole is 8 mm because the diameter is 16 mm the so first of all start drawing from this arc in the left hand side so first of all draw this arc center is over here 16 mm and height is the height of the center is 24 mm center of this part 24 mm so now we can see the arc of this part over here but we have to connect this edge which are going to be tangent to this arc this edge will be tangent to this arc this edge will be tangent to this arc so we have to draw the tangent and then after we will draw the outline of the circle so this edge is making the tangent over here and this edge is making the tangent over here then after draw the arc having radius 16 mm and the center of this arc will be over here 24 mm from this edge 16 mm from this edge draw the arc now we have to draw this part or we have to project this part from the front view which is going to be hidden this hole is hidden these two holes are also going to be hidden so first of all draw the projections draw the projections and draw the part as a or draw these holes as a hidden line in the left hand side view so now we have taken all the projections of the holes from front view to left hand side view front view to top view left hand side view to front view so this hole is going to be projected over here as a hidden line these holes are going to be projected over here as a hidden line these holes are going to be projected over here as a hidden line the projection of this hole in the front view it is going to be projected over here as a hidden line projection of this hole in the 
draw view this is going to be hidden in the draw view now mark the centers of the circle by using the chain line chain line is used to show the centers of the circle in each and every view draw the chain line to show the centers of the circles and then after give all the required dimensions of the object so we have shown all the centers in each and every view over here also show the centers by using the chain line now this edge is going to be hidden in the left hand side view so draw the hidden outline for that particular edge also so this is all about the front view top view and left hand side of the object it is little bit complicated but i think you can understand easily thank you now it is your part to give the dimensions of the object so give all the required dimensions of the object thank you